welcome to this live webinar about how to start a career in AI and ML. But before we actually begin, let us just get into the demonstration of uh, how this actually works. So I'm sure all of you are familiar with YouTube.com. You go there to watch videos, uh, be it regarding any topic that you like and you don't like, right? So the first step uh, in using YouTube appropriately is actually creating your own Google account, right? So that YouTube can actually retain your information. So accordingly, you can see that a lot of topics that I frequently search for are in my frequent tags. Uh, as you can see, street food and some video game topics and some music genre. So all of that is there. So the other thing that is so good about YouTube is that when you go to the search bar and you actually start typing in something like for instance, I'm typing machine learning. You can see a lot of results come in like tutorial, MCQ questions, Python projects. So these are all search terms uh, on YouTube that are most frequented on uh, statistically. So this is a form of uh, machine learning in uh, practice, as we can see right here, because you are more uh, statistically inclined to search for these terms when you're searching for machine learning. And you can basically pick them up from the drop down menu that you get. And we have gotten so accustomed to these uh, technologies that we don't even notice it anymore. And we take it for granted. But all of it is possible because of AI and ML in action, right? Other than YouTube, you have a lot of alternatives for that as well, right? Like uh, Vimeo, Daily Motion, Meta Cafe. These are all video streaming platforms, but we don't use them as much as we use. YouTube has surpassed all of these. So YouTube has surpassed all of these because it provides a better customer experience as compared to all of these three other websites, right? And that is the reason it is at the top. So AI and ML are crucial for a website success in today's marketplace. So let us look at what we are going to be discussing today. So firstly, we are going to get into the introduction to machine learning, just to get a little bit of background information about this particular topic. Then we are going to have a look at the ML engineer's uh, average salary or income. Then we are going to get to introduction to artificial intelligence the salary of an AI engineer. Then finally, we'll look at the career path that is required for a specialization in these particular fields. So without any further ado, let us get into the introduction to ML. So before we actually understand what machine learning is, we need to understand the core concepts that constitute machine learning. So the first is data science. So data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, and algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from many structural and unstructured data, right? So you have your raw data available to you in large amounts. Uh, so you're going to be performing data science on it, right? So this data is first put into an algorithm. And once it has been put into that algorithm, you get your insights or your further models from then on. Now, what is machine learning? Machine learning is an extension of data science. So instead of ending your entire query on your data science output, on the insights that you've gotten after your data science algorithm, you can do something more with that data. You can basically put that data into a model and that model is called your machine learning model. So you can extend the expertise that you have as a data scientist to achieve something more. Now, what is machine learning? It is seen as an extension of data science and a subset of artificial intelligence. Machine learning is the study of automating the process of improving computer algorithms and their efficiency slash accuracy through simulated experience. So first you have your data available to you, similar to uh, the case in data science. Then you put it inside a ML algo. Then you create your machine learning model out of that algorithm based on the data that you have. And then you get your test results. So you will test your ML model for accuracy as to how accurate your predicting algorithm is with the data that you have. Now, this these results, depending on the accuracy, the accuracy is not satisfactory enough. You'll put your insights 
back into the algorithm, change the algorithm a little bit. Now this process can be automated it's, it's itself and that is what artificial intelligence is. And then after all of the test results uh, give you the accurate algorithm, the most accurate algorithm that you've received, you'll finalize on your ML model and then you can actually implement it in real world scenarios as well. For instance, say your e-commerce website and deploying this particular model on your e-commerce website for uh, more benefits. So why is ML so relevant today, right? So in today's day and age, say if we take e-commerce websites as an example, you have Home Depot, you have Amazon, you have eBay. But we all know that Amazon is at, at the absolute top. Nobody even comes close. So why is that the case? The answer for that is simple. Amazon provides the highest customer satisfaction. And due to that, Amazon has the highest customer engagement. And due to that, Amazon has the highest sales as well. So that is why Amazon is the most profitable e-commerce business in today's world. And due to this proven success methodology, these particular job fields are the most in demand in today's world. Companies are looking for professionals who are talented in these particular topics because if any organization is looking to maximize their profits in today's world of e-business, ML and AI is the way to go. So we can also look at the trends for this particular search term, which is machine learning from 2004 to the present year. We can see that it has had an exponential almost increase throughout the times. So this has to do with the fact that people from the IT field in general are really fascinated with the subject. It has to do with the fact that businesses find this methodology really lucrative. And it also has to do with the fact that employees uh, currently searching for jobs are looking for jobs in this particular domain because of how highly it pays. So with that being said, let us look at what the payment actually is. So the average income of an ML engineer we can see that in the United States, it's about $125,000. In India, it's about 7 lakhs per annum. And in the UK, it's about 52,000 pounds. Now, uh, for an average engineer, uh, this is quite a high amount because we're taking an average uh, here. We're not taking the topmost value and we're not taking the entry level value. So the more proficient you get at your particular trade, the higher you'll fetch at any particular company, right? So this is just a base average. It all depends on how much experience you have in this particular domain. So now we can get into artificial intelligence. Let us get some background information about this particular topic. So what is artificial intelligence? You have data science. And from data science, uh, you're extending into machine learning. And from machine learning, you can extend into artificial intelligence as well, right? So artificial intelligence is the artificial replication of human intelligence. So it's basically mimicking what we would do in certain situations, except without our intervention at all, right? So this could be in the form of robotics that are present in industrial factories. Uh, so instead of using human labor to pack boxes, we're using robots. So some form of artificial intelligence has been programmed into that robot, right? It could be existing in computers, for instance, say we have a chat application that automatically replies to our uh, messages right so all of these things are part of artificial intelligence so we can see that it basically means going from the current state to the next step and repeating the process until we reach the target state right so this is what the computer will do on its own without any human intervention you just have to tell the computer what your target state is program in the algorithm and it will basically take the current state of things in consideration and based on that it will loop until it reaches the target state whatever the target state is so this is how an ai system works so why is ai so relevant today the answer for that is quite simple we can take an example here a lot of websites and services today provide a customer service chat so this can be found on mobile phones food delivery applications, e-commerce websites, right? You have this particular service available. Now, there are two methods 
uh, by which you can actually interact uh, with these uh, particular services. The first is robot agent where you type in something as a customer and an automated reply will come to you depending on what your message was and then you have a human agent right who is an actual live person who is chatting with you now the problem with a human agent is that they cost a lot because you have to pay them salaries and you have to keep a team in order but if you program a well enough artificially intelligent system that particular system can reply to your customers and never let them actually know that uh, the customer is actually talking to a, an automated agent so that is the advantage of that and with uh, robotic agents obviously you just have to pay for the server costs for your website and uh, you don't have to pay anybody any salaries so you can see how much it increases the profitability of these companies uh, but by not having to employ people for a manual labor which can be done through these artificially intelligent systems and obviously every company which has the need for these systems would want to cut out on these costs so that is why they are looking for an ai engineer if we look at the trends data for this particular artificial intelligence uh, search term, we can see that it has had an increase over the years, similar to machine learning. So if we look at the average income of an AI engineer, we can see that uh, in the US, it's about $135,000. In India, it's an increase to 8.5 lakhs per annum. And in the UK, it has an increase to 57,000 pounds. Now, this increase in average income is also the reason why a lot of people who are solely practicing machine learning tend to get into artificial intelligence because the topics are quite similar. There's not a lot to be learned when you're transitioning from a machine learning engineer to an AI engineer, a combined uh, career profile, so to speak. And if you're interested in this particular domain, it's quite fascinating as well as to how machine learning concepts are adopted in the AI field. So enough said about the income. Now let us look at the learning path uh, for these particular topics. So in the learning path, we can see that the first concept that you need to familiarize yourself with is data handling. Now data handling refers to handling of raw data, whether it's semi-structured, unstructured or structured. So you need to know either Python and MySQL or R and MySQL. So any of these tools would suffice. If you have knowledge about NoSQL data, that, that is also a plus point in your uh, career profile. Then you need to have knowledge about statistical mathematics. So you need to understand how basic statistics work. And then you'll use those uh, knowledge points when you are actually implementing data analytics. Now, data analytics refers to using technical tools like Python, R, and MySQL to actually query your data and answer some questions about that data. The next step is data science. So in data science, you use additional libraries that are present in languages like Python and R to actually derive some hidden mathematical and scientific insights from your data. So as opposed to data analytics, you don't exactly know what you have to find, but with the use of data science, you can find some hidden trends and patterns in your data. And this sort of knowledge is extremely important before you actually progress with machine learning uh, in your future. Now, the next step is not mandatory, but it is a definite plus point if you actually understand big data as well. So big data is nothing much. It's basically implementing uh, your data science and your data analytics with enormous amounts of data in a big data architecture or cluster. So the technologies that you need to familiarize yourself with when you're dealing with big data are Hadoop and Apache Spark. So these are the two top most popular tools in this particular domain. Plus the usage of big data almost guarantees that your machine learning predictive models and your AI systems would be extremely accurate and efficient because you're dealing with a large data set and the larger the data set, uh, the more accurate your result will be. And that brings us to uh, machine learning itself. So you need to understand the basic algorithms of machine learning and then the advanced ones, the concepts of machine learning, the mathematical concepts that are there and then implementing them uh, with libraries. For instance, Python has the scikit-learn library. 
So this is a machine learning library that you can use with Python if you don't want to code your entire algorithm on your own. And then finally, once you understand these topics extremely well, you can then implement these topics in AI systems, right? So normal AI systems only include if else commands. So th those are very basic AI systems. But the AI systems of today, which actually uh, emulate or simulate a human brain, are, you need to understand how ML can be integrated with AI because you essentially are doing the exact same thing in your head as well you learn from the data that is registered inside your head and based on the uh, insight that you get from that data you make your future decisions so implementing that in ai systems where you're artificially simulating intelligence is extremely important so understanding ai concepts and implementing ml algos to put them into practical use and once you understand all of that you are officially an ai ml engineer and with a few personal projects and a certification in this particular domain, you're good to go. And that is the end of this particular topic.